Well, an Oahu substitute teacher pleaded not guilty in federal court today to dis distribution of child pornography. Alden Bunog earlier this month admitted to having sex with a 13-year-old male middle school student. FBI agents say Bunog re recorded and distributed at least three videos between November 2019 and last October to several people via a messaging app called Telegram. Bunog remains behind bars without bail. Trial scheduled for August 23rd. Turning to an update to a story we first brought to you on Monday, 58-year-old Thomas Couch pleaded not guilty today to four counts of sexual assault of a minor. Couch is accused of sexually assaulting a young girl in his custody between January of 2016 and June of 2020. His bail is set at $500,000 and trial is scheduled to begin on August 29th. Well, an Oahu judge today found 34-year-old Myron Posoa Felipe guilty of sexual assault. Posoa Felipe sexually assaulted a 12-year-old girl back in 2016 and now faces up to 20 uh, years in prison. He's currently being held at the Oahu Community Correctional Center and is scheduled to be sentenced on October 4th. Well, new tonight, a man charged with allegedly killing a security guard in downtown Honolulu last month will undergo a mental examination. Court records show a judge granted the evaluation for Razi White earlier this month. White's accused of hitting Michael Stubbs in the head with a metal water bottle at Pioneer Plaza. Stubbs later died. And Maui police opened an attempted murder investigation after a 66-year-old man was shot in the head last night in Kihei. MPD reports this happened around 6.30 on Maui Veterans Highway near mile marker 5. The victim was taken to the hospital in critical condition and is still receiving treatment. Investigators believe there's no threat to the public at this time. If you have any information, you're asked to call MPD at 244-6400.